All right, good morning, guys, you two people world, whoever's, wherever's. Um, yeah, that's how I want my garage to look. So, um, yeah, I got the bikes all in here. I <sighs> got some, uh, vinyl graphics peeling on the kid's bike. I used a heat gun to heat a bunch of the graphics down, but yeah, some of the, some of the spots aren't working. Um, yeah, what I got to do right now is I got to load this bike, my bike, and I got to load it in my truck. Oh yeah, I left the cart out here. <sighs> so somehow <laughs> I'm a, I'm taking the trailer. I'm gonna load it on the trailer. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna hook up the trailer and take the trailer. But anyway, got my caps on. So yeah. Spent all day yesterday cleaning out that toy hauler. <sighs> and yeah, this thing. Anyway, whatever. Stay right there. Okay. Um, I basically, yeah. So I sent the guy a bunch of videos showing him everything works. By the way, if you don't know, I'm probably going to be trading this toy hauler for a dirt bike or I'm going to sell this toy hauler. So I just went through everything cleaned everything and uh took videos and pictures and sent them to the guy to see if he'll trade or not trade whatever um yeah fridge works so uh, everything works shower works toilet works sink works closets work um, but yeah, uh, did do a video, AC, AC did work, does work, and, uh, yeah, so, I spent all day, pretty much all day, I guess, not really all day, a lot of time cleaning it, and, uh, just did a video, I thought the tires were newer. They're brand new, but they're 2017. Um, and then I got up there and replaced that cap. It's going to need a new awning. But anyway. Um, yeah, so my plan is once that's gone, um, I have to get rid of this oleander bush. And this shipping container is going to go here. Um, I'll have to... I don't think it'll completely fit under here. Um, so it might have to go next to it. Um, either way, it's going to go next to it. But it's basically going to go flush with this. And then... Uh, all the way back here 30 feet 40 feet so I think they'll probably be sitting right about here um anyway so yeah I gotta pretty much level this get rid of that oleander bush 
and then uh, probably gonna order another shipping container and that one is gonna go on this side so all this roofing all this stuff's gonna go away I gotta move the truck <sighs> and order a shipping container and put it right here. A little Yanmar tractor. For my transmission stuff for my Yanmar. But, yeah. So I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. Need to get rid of the Binsberry. Trying to get rid of the Project Crack Pipe, 64 Chevy truck. Have to work on the van. Um, but yeah, my dirt bike is gonna go to a friend's house. And the kid who bought my 2012 long bed Dodge, he's going to adjust the valves for me because he knows I got too much going on. Um, I just gotta go check on this water again because earlier hose busted but yeah so he's gonna adjust the valves and then maybe rebuild the carburetor for it and uh, yeah you can see the water that's where it all busted but that should be good enough water I took the timer out because I didn't want him to freeze last time it froze on me, but anyway. Um, but yeah, so I was going to load the dirt bike in the back of the truck, but I have that fifth wheel hitch in there. I'm trying to think. Hmm, I can't lift it up high enough. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to lift it up high enough with the trailer because I got six inches of hitch in there. Maybe I'll load it. I'll load it on this side. But anyway, all right. That's basically what I got planned. Um, I did find this water tank at work. Um, it says that it has a leak. And I found the leak. The leak is. Down there. But I can make that the top. So I can put that at the top. Because the. Where they glue these in or whatever. It's leaking. So it was in the trash. So I'm going to use it in the van. But anyway. I got other stuff brewing. Got to do. Um, yeah. So I'm going to. I'm going to load this bike real quick. In the truck. And go to his house. And go from there. I'm trying to revive this battery also. This battery from the Yanmar. If not, I'm just going to have to go get a new battery. So, anyway. Alright guys, a lot of videos to come. A lot of stuff. Uh, did ride the kid's bike. Fired right up. Well, like six kicks. These fuel-injected bikes take a little bit to... To get that, uh, I think the fuel pump ignited, get power to it because there's a big, I think a big capacitor that sits right there. It has to get electricity from the thingy and then it goes to the other thingy. But yeah, so um, I do have the transmission on a little cart now instead of that huge old. Uh, 
pallet it was on, or just five foot by five foot pallet. So it's on a little cart, so I can move it around. And uh, oh, the plans for with the shipping container. Um, yeah, basically, my wife has a business that she does. Um, I have a business, kind of like an eBay store, I guess you can call it. And uh, I have a lot of stuff in the shipping container, so we're going to confine one shipping container, and that's going to be our business stuff. So it'll probably be this one. So we're going to get a new shipping container, put it in over there, and then take everything out of this shipping container and put it over there. Um, this way she doesn't have to walk all the way over there to get her stuff out. Um, and then that shipping container is going to... We have one bedroom that has a lot of her business stuff. So that shipping container, that's going to be this shipping container. That'll be where the trailer is, basically. That's going to house all her business stuff, all my eBay stuff. A little more organized. Shove all that in there the bow flex and the elliptical machine will probably go in the bedroom where a lot of her stuff is and uh yeah the plans to get me more room in here get more room in the house and uh yeah we're we're gonna be doing some stuff inside the house as well flooring cabinetry so that'll allow us to store stuff in there as well so anyway that is the plan my plan is to get the yamaha out of the trailer be able to park the yamaha in here don't know if the kid's gonna sell his dirt bike or keep it um and then i'll probably have the yamaha and uh my dirt bike in here or the other dirt bike and this dirt bike but anyway i guess see you guys on the next video like i said it's a lot of a lot of videos a lot of stuff i'm doing trying to do i'll see you guys on the next one later